Casualty care in a crisis situation has changed over the years. Well, tactical combat casualty care um, over the last several years uh, with all the combat that the U.S. has experienced, uh, with all the analytics, all the feedback, um, we've seen that it's proven to increase survivability. The 347th Operations Support Squadron is stepping up and out front to build a new tactical combat casualty care program. I came here to get knowledge to build a course and uh, before I came here I didn't know exactly how the course should be ran. I came and seen I'm in, I'm in. almost a perfect course so now I have you know yet a, I have an example of what to go off of and um, I'm happy that I'm able to take that back home with me. And the gains are not just localized to Moody Air Force Base. The Air Force, I mean, they get better medics um, who are highly qualified to provide medicine in austere environments overseas. Um, granted, IDMTs don't necessarily go outside the wire all the time, but there are some who do. And if we pass along that knowledge, then they're going to be able to do the same thing. And if we ever have to, myself uh, or anyone else goes outside the wire, then I'll be able to practice and um, just, I've been in the live fire action. I know what's going to happen. I know that people are going to endure different stressors and being able to react to those stressors is better than not being able to react because then at the end of the day, you want to save a life and you don't want somebody else to die. Staff Sergeant Eric Berger, Okeechobee, Florida.